As the number of COVID-19 cases continues to grow, Missouri Governor Mike Parson hasn't decided if a statewide stay-at-home order is necessary. As 41 Action News investigator Andy Alcock shows us, unfortunately, not everybody's staying home. This website tracks how well or how poorly states are doing when it comes to social distancing guidelines to help contain the coronavirus. Missouri is not under a statewide stay-at-home order. If we click on the map, you can see Missouri gets a C grade. Kansas does have a stay-at-home order statewide, and we click on the map there, you can see the state gets a C minus. However, a closer look at the data shows there's definitely room for improvement in both states. Here's how it works. Using cell phone data, experts and PhDs are tracking decreases in travel and trips to non-essential businesses to come up with a letter grade from A to F. While there's a metro-wide stay-at-home order on both sides of the Missouri-Kansas state line, a closer look at the data shows of Missouri's 114 counties, 73 of them, or 64%, are getting a D or an F. Our state is so diverse for every segment of the state is different. And it's very difficult sometimes just to put a blanket order in, in place. There's no Missouri County with a grade higher than a B. In the metro on the Missouri side, Platte County leads the way with a B. Jackson County, with the highest number of COVID-19 cases in the metro, gets a C. Clay County gets a C minus, while Cass County gets a D minus. The core question we ask ourselves is what can we do to keep our communities safe? On the Kansas side, the highest social distancing grade for any county like Missouri is also a B. In the metro, Johnson County, which leads Kansas in COVID-19 cases, gets the highest grade with a B. Wyandotte County gets a B minus. Miami and Leavenworth counties each get a D. Health officials in both states say it's going to be at least a couple of weeks before the number of cases flatten out. And they say the key to keeping those cases as low as possible is for everyone to stay at home. I'm investigator Andy Alcock, 41 Action News.